Hi Robin <clears throat> with OxyDry and uh, well, today I've got a, um, a commercial job that I'm doing. Uh, I'll be going down this hallway and around the corner over there and a little bit further then looping around and coming in at the entrance over there. It's not too big a job really and I have two flights of stairs to do. Uh, one here and one on the other end. It's a Saturday. Oh. Here's my van. Um, right downtown. That's actually the uh, city hall over there. And um, I pre vacuumed with, um, I used my Conquest, Hoover Upright Conquest, which I actually um, bought in a garage sale a few years ago and uh, I never used because it desperately needed a brush roll. And um, anyway, I was almost ready to throw it out. And then uh, a few months ago, a couple months ago, I thought, you know what? Maybe this is not a bad vacuum after all, because it seemed to run fine, just needed a brush roll. So I ordered up a brush roll after I looked it up online and realized this is considered a pretty serious vacuum. Um, and uh, anyway, I brought the, br bought the brush roll. I think it was about $80 or so, which wasn't really much. And put it in and replaced the belt and cleaned up the bag and emptied the junk out of the uh, debris tray that was in it. Screws and nails and things. <laughs> um, and um, so I used it here. And I was so impressed. Because it actually actually will almost pull itself along. So that was pretty cool. Uh, and it seemed to work really well and it was maneuverable. And I, I think I'm going to like it for, it'll be great for um, sort of the smaller commercial jobs. But um, it wouldn't be the best vacuum for a house. But um, anyway, uh, for smaller commercial jobs, this is probably one of the options I will have for uh, vacuuming. I have, of course, the Pro Team. I have my modified Kirby's. I have uh, Sanitaire. And I have, um, now I got the Hoover upright. So I have a number, and of course, my great big uh, Advance, which is overkill in most cases, but anyway. So uh, t anyway, today um, I'm going to clean this carpet. Uh, I pre-vacuumed, I pre-treated pre all the spots already. There isn't too many actually. There's an area down near one of the bathrooms over there that is in need of some attention, um, extra attention. And the property manager had um, pointed that out to me. So I did uh, put some uh, pre-treatment down there. I'm using Argo, Argo Sheen as my pre-treat. I often do. Although I have a pre-spray as well in my the trigger sprayer in the tank. I carry two or three bottles in there of different things. One is the Argo. Anyway, so let's turn it on and uh, we'll see how this goes. And I'm using a microfiber with scrub strips. I decided this was probably going to be the best choice for this particular carpet. The scrub, the uh, microfiber with the absorbent foam in between draws the soil up and out and the, mic and the um, nylon bristles are very effective at scrubbing down between the, the little loops here. So uh, this is a level loop carpet, commercial grade, obviously a good quality carpet. So um, it, should just, it should just do really well. So we'll turn on the machine and see how it goes. Take a second for the, I didn't spray the bottom of the pad, but Oh, there we go. Now I can see it. You see it starting to turn a little uh, whitish there. That's uh, what we're looking for. I'm cleaning with rocket rinse at one ounce per gallon. And I do have some ClO2 in there. If you're wondering what that's all about, if you go to vitaloxide.com, it'll explain all about what I'm using there, what it does, its advantages. I've uh, turned, um, segued away from using ozone, which is an oxidizer, uh, for using the ClO2, which is also an oxidizer, but does quite a bit more um, and has advantages over the ozone. But uh, anyway, you can see that area right there was a little extra dark, and now it's 
looking lovely. You see the carpet's really brightening up. I sure like the the smell of the um, the rocket uh, rinse. And actually, I was cleaning a carpet yesterday, and after I finished, the lady was commenting on the. That looked right, good. Yeah, I just cleaned right there. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'm just coming over here to look at the. I gotta paint the stairwell. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah. But not. I won't do it today. Huh. I'll wait. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna. I gotta do the steps yet. So. Yeah. Painter in the building. He's uh, doing some touching up and stuff. So. Anyway, back to uh, what my customer was saying. Um, uh, she was, um, this lady, uh, this property, they have three or four houses on the, on the property they own. It's right on the lake. And, wow, very impressive stuff. But So I did some carpeting for her and some furniture. And uh, when I was finished and we were talking and she said how she was impressed she was. There were some urine stains. Uh, little dog had been peeing on the carpet. They all came out. No problem. And uh, she'd had the carpet cleaned a year and a half or so before. And I expect other times as well. But anyway, she said she told me that it was the best cleaning she'd seen. And uh, she said I was the best carpet cleaner she'd ever had, and she says, I, I, I don't give out compliments very easily. Well, that was nice to hear. And, um, but she said, the cleaning, she says, it smelled so nice. She says, she actually said, it smelled delicious. And I thought that was a really funny uh, thing to say, but I, I agree, it does. In fact, I went and opened up my little jar of, uh, radical rinse and I said wait you know smell it like this in the powder form and she put her nose there and she agreed it smells so good I mean it smells so good it almost smells like you want to put it into a what am I, that thing's not working into a uh, jug and mix it up for to drink it because wow does that smell so delicious <laughs> but don't do that obviously it's not for that purpose But anyway, uh, John Klusnick at Bonnet Pro makes some great products, and um, I've really been impressed with everything that he makes, including his pads, and uh, he has many different, uh, well, a good selection of different cleaning solutions, and uh, he's a friend to us slow moisture guys, particularly um, because he is a firm believer that the rotary is a the machine of choice and uh, and I agree with them on that and he does make great cleaning products uh, the radical rinse and, and rocket and uh, the surround series and uh, what's that Omega and um, I've always been impressed with his products and for me living in Canada it really helps that now there is a Canadian distributor, so it makes a big difference when it comes to purchasing. And uh, the uh, supplier back in, uh, I think he's in Ontario, the products are on the way, you know, within usually the same day you order or, the, or, or obviously the day after, so that makes it a lot easier for us. Us poor Canadians. And we don't have to deal with the cross border hassles, which can really be quite um, difficult. And cost of ordering things can double with shipping from what we actually initially pay. And that kind of, that's no fun. I've bought stuff that cost me $100 and it cost me almost $100 to get it shipped. Here we got something. Something nasty here. Oh, that's a melt mark. I can't get out melt marks. 
So I carry, uh, I carry my scissors right there and my little brush. And I usually have a little towel there, but it's actually hanging on my, whoop, right there. And the spotter's hanging here too. Anyway. So, now as I'm cleaning, I'm just doing a, I'm not feeding down very much. I'm just watching the carpet, make sure I'm getting it as uh, damp as I need to. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I'm at the end of my cord. I'm just about to stop, too. Anyway, I was just thinking, I'm at the end of my cord, right? This one, this plug, is a little more than 50 feet away. Usually they're about 45 feet or so. But not in this case, I guess. So that's about there. All right. Hmm. Um, so I'm just feeding down enough, and I'm doing a <clears throat> just overlapping a little bit. This area is pretty clean looking, so no uh, challenges here. The most soil there is coming up just around the corner of the head. I have this job to do and then I'll move out. Um, booked for 11, which between 11 and 12. I don't think I'll be getting there by 11 by the look of it, but that's why we always book with a usually at least an hour window of arrival time. Now the um, um, radical rinse, which is what I'm using, does have the protector in it, the uh, AFT, which is the <coughs> John's relatively new uh, plant-based protector. It's on his website, bonnetpro.com. Tells you all about it. And um, that is, uh, helps the carpets to resist resoiling because it um, leaves the carpet more resistant to oily, sticky soils in particular. Put my wire around the corner here. Not a good idea to drag around corners because you can see on that corner right there, obviously that's been happening many times with vacuums probably and especially in a house, it's really bad. So try to remember to pull your cord around the corners. Don't drag it. Anyway, the AFT uh, does help the carpet to resist soiling. So that, and it's part of the cleaning. Well, that's that's a, a really good thing. The most soil there is right there. So when we get there, we'll see what happens. Actually, I thought it looked worse when I came and looked at the place, but. And 
Well, I'll let us uh, see what happens. Now I'm going to put down a little bit more than what I have been using in this area. You can see it turn a little bit whiter. At least I can. Not sure if the camera is picking that up. I already did the. I already did that by hand over there already. Right up against that doorway on the corners. And the nice thing about this low moisture method is that spots of stains and traffic areas, when we get them out, they don't come back. We don't have the wicking issues that is so common and almost inevitable with steam cleaning. Actually, almost at the end of my wire, so hang on a second. Yeah, carpet's looking brighter and even, which is another thing about using this method is. Uh, we tend to, uh, with the low moisture, using this set, soil extraction transfer technology with the pads, um, we're able to get a more even cleaning than typically you'd get with steam cleaning, which can often, it's, hard, it's just hard to get the wand, particularly to uh, on certain carpets, to leave it really even. Whereas with this method, assuming the operators operating it uh, skillfully, um, you're going to see a more even appearance to the carpet. And of course, because of the way this works, the soil doesn't get pressure washed into the backing. Now, there is a spot right there. And it almost came out, first pass. So I just slowed down and I let the machine do its work at three, 360 degree passes per second. And that's the end of that. Spot's gone. There's a little bit of a rise in the floor right there, and I can, being on it, using the single disc rotary, you can really feel those uh, changes on a floor. Oh, it's a bathroom there. Hmm. Hmm. Wasn't open a few minutes. I guess the painter must have opened it. Might need to leave that a little bit. <laughs> but I'm not trying to go fast. I don't know if you can tell that, but I'm just going to get a nice relaxed pace. The end result is the primary goal, not the speed at which I go. This is the first job I've done for this company, and uh, apparently they do own a few properties around. Maybe this will turn into more work. We'll see what happens. I think I see another spot. I'm very curious just how much of an advantage the new oh it's gone yeah I like that the new uh, bonnet pro product the nano um, max is going to be um, what I've read about it and heard about it sure sounds like it's uh, going to be a game changer I thought long ago that we uh, really needed to have a product that was going to have 
smaller molecular side, size because detergents are limited by the fact that certain soils have a molecular uh, structure that's smaller than the detergents. And detergents work by uh, um, the detergent molecule um, working its way between the molecules of the soil to lift it into suspension to just break it apart. But certain soils have such small molecules that the detergents won't do that. That makes it, and that's what basically creates a stain. So the new nano product that John's coming out when I heard about that, I thought, oh boy, this is what I've been waiting for. This will be a game changer, I think. Really appreciated. Bonnet Pro's uh, um, vision of really seeking to get this methodology uh, to the forefront because it does deserve to be there. I mean, I guess there'll always be, and there should always be steam cleaning for certain applications for sure, but this is just a better, better method for lots of reasons, including the fact that the operator doesn't spend a fortune just putting buying his equipment, maintaining and repairing his equipment and putting gas into the van that has to pull around a thousand or fifteen hundred pounds all day long. Because that's and all to clean a a fabric that's usually about a quarter inch thick. And think how ridiculous it is to do a, to clean furniture with a truck mount. How ridiculous is that? Running a V8 motor and you run your truck mount at a just above an idle because you can't do it at full because there's so much suck. And how inefficient is that? You go to clean somebody's couch and chair and use a V8 motor <laughs> for your power? That's actually ridiculous if you think about it. But, anyway, to each his own, right? So, the corner out there, that goes to the left, and then I'll be right back down that little bit of a hallway to join up to where I was. So it's going quick. Um, I just have the landings and the steps to do, but I'll stop the camera when I get to the end here. So, to the end of this part anyway. Nothing really too exciting to see here. I mean, I get out of these spots and but of that area of concern back there, but this machine is so effortless to move. I'm actually, just to move it forward, I'm just stepping because it's just resting on my waistline. I just take a step to move it forward and then to move it into this spot. Right there. So to move it to the left, I'm pushing it down slightly. Gone. Staying gone. And uh, move it to the right, I just lift it up slightly. No effort. It's like power steering. And yeah, as I mentioned in a previous video recently, this machine, actually the tank, which is relatively new now, a couple of months, uh, the new, this new tank sits lower than the old one. It gives me an even lower center of gravity. So there's another spot right there. Little, there's little tiny spots. A quarter inch in diameter. And it's gone. It's gone. Yep. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh boy. I woke up last night. Oops. 
no, 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 switch over to that. Woke up last night at 2 o'clock. I couldn't sleep. Actually, been having a sinus cold going on, so I had to get up. I had a pretty sore back. I seemed to pull a muscle yesterday. Well, it's okay now. I think we're back, is that? <laughs> but uh, anyway, I was up. Stayed up till 4 o'clock. Although I'm feeling surprisingly alert right now, but oh, had my coffee, of course. Anyway, I'll pull the wire. And uh, my wife and I started a fitness program. I actually been going to the gym, but anyway, I decided we needed cardio, and she started this thing that was uh, kind of a um, I don't know what you call it, a sort of a walking, full body walking workout thing. And it's really good. And we've been very good at doing it every night. Usually at least 30 minutes. <coughs> and, um, because i got to lose weight. Oh. And eat salads only at lunch. It seems to work. I don't actually don't mind it. Believe it or not. You only get one body, I guess you gotta try and take care of it. And yeah, no, uh, oh, that's a tuft out of the carpet. That was a spot. And that is a paint or something. A little black spot there. Anyway, I can't take the tuft. <laughs> so let's go back here. Yeah. Those are not stains. So, anyway. So, uh, I put two gallons in. And, uh, I no, don't think I've even used half yet. Into this spot, and uh, of course, I do have a, a really good light on my machine, and I highly recommend anyone using this type of machine is to get a get a light put on or put a light on yourself. This is an LED. I actually kind of built the light. Um, I bought two square LED panels at an electronic shop, and a 12 volt transformer because they run on DC. 12 volt and I uh, put them into a, um, a housing that uh, I had that was for um, actually a patio light and it works great. It's got a lot of a lot of lumens. It looks pretty cool too. Because sometimes you get into situations where the lighting is not very good. And I put lights on my machines for over 20 years. Sometimes really goofy ones too. <laughs> you know, a gooseneck lamp. I think that was my first one. Actually clipped it on. <laughs> well, that's kind of dorky. But anyway. Of course, back then, the LED lights weren't even available, so I used to buy the the lights, the, the work light bulbs, because they would be more durable. So I'm nearly at the end. And there was a stain there, I don't know if I you noticed that as I went over there, but that stain is... I cannot see it, so... Geo any gum. And... I've got about 10 more feet, and I'll be, and I'll be finished. Other than the first steps and the landings. Which won't take long, and I'll be using my auric on that. I'll actually use this on the landing, pretty big, so I'll use this on the landings and on the auric. And the actual steps. 
a few more feet and I'll be done. Thirty minutes. Hmm. Not bad for thirty minutes, huh? So here we are. I'm back to the first hallway. Alrighty. Hope that was uh, interesting. <laughs> Only for carpet cleaners, I'm sure. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you.